Hey, what's up guys? Uh, wanted to record a quick video showing you a tactic that I think is really freaking cool and I hope it makes your life easier as well. So uh, I'm going to use Zapier to automatically generate certificates uh, and merge in the person's name and the course details and, and stuff like that. Now, uh, obviously I have virtual courses in my business and so there's a natural use case for, for where that would fit for me. But if you don't offer courses, uh, there are plenty of other scenarios where this tactic might be valuable for you. Uh, or for your clients or for the businesses you serve. So so pay attention. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, big shout out to Kelsey Bratcher, who was the first guy to show me this trick. And um, uh, another shout out to the OG member, Tim, who asked about this earlier this week. And I said, you know, I've had it on my list to create a training for that. Um, so I finally got around to it today. All right, so here is the scenario. Um, we're going to create a simple campaign here. It starts when they complete the course. Uh, of course, if you don't offer uh, your own courses or, or, or digital content like that, uh, you would have a different trigger point. But um, then we are going to post to Zapier, uh, which is what initiates this trigger. So there's a, an HTTP post in here just telling Zapier, hey, it's time to start this. Uh, Zapier is going to come back and say, hey, the certificate is ready. Uh, and then we've got an email that's going to deliver the certificate and a second email if they don't download it the first time. Uh, and of course, a goal here to track whether or not they've downloaded it. So that is the campaign that we need. Uh, in order to, to do this um, this trick here, we're gonna need two custom fields, actually probably just one custom field, uh, potentially a second depending on your scenario. So uh, the first custom field is going to be a website field, and this is the URL of the certificate. So certificate URL, um, when we're done with this process, Zapier is gonna post or, or, or place um, a downloadable link here into this custom field. So uh, go ahead and classify it uh, as certificate URL and then put it on you know somewhere on the contact uh, record and click save. Uh, the second field that you might need that is optional uh, is the name of the course. So um, I'm gonna build a process here that just does this for one course, but uh, if you wanted to pass different information uh, that's gonna be merged into the certificate, you could use a number of custom fields for that. So uh, right over here, we need to first trigger the post in Zapier. So the first thing we're gonna do is start a brand new Zap. Um, if you have never uh, used Zapier, um, there's a handful of ways to trigger a Zap. I have been leaning towards uh, what they call webhooks here. Uh, and then it's a catch hook. I actually have a separate training if you wanna just search the MonkeyPod YouTube channel that shows you how this process works. Uh, but basically what we need is this URL. Uh, this is the URL we're gonna send a post to. So we copy that. Um, then we hop over here to the sequence with the HTTP post. Okay, um, once we're in here, we wanna paste in the URL that we just copied from Zapier. Um, we're also gonna set up a couple of fields that we wanna pass over to Zapier. This is the information that we are providing the Zap so it can use as it creates the certificate or as it finds the contact at the end and updates it, right? So we're gonna to wanna to send the email address so that we know who the contact is. We're gonna to wanna to send the course name so that we can merge it into the certificate. And then we're gonna to wanna to send the contact name as well. Uh, now, before I put the merge values in, I'm actually gonna do a test post using this right here to give Zapier some information that we will use to configure the rest of this process. Um, so let's uh, just use like some default information, admin at monkeypodmarketing.com. Uh, we can change the contact ID to one. For the course name, we'll use CB Trilogy. And for the contact name, we'll use uh, Greg Jenkins. Okay, so just some static information, just a one-time test to Zapier. So go ahead and click test and then choose any of the users. Um, uh, the reason you choose a user is because it would um, merge their information in, but because we have static values, it doesn't matter which one we pick. Uh, once you've done that and you see this green indicator down here below the, the MonkeyPod logo, um, you can then switch these back for the merge variables that we're gonna want long-term. So uh, let's do um, the ID and the email. And, uh, and then we'll do first name and space last name. Now, uh, I think I've made this clear, but if you are, if you are um, using this process for different courses, you could use a merge field for the course name as well. Um, but in this scenario, I'm just gonna create a process 
to create certificates just for the CB trilogy. So I'm just going to do it um, this way using a static value here, but that could be your second merge field. Once you've done all that, go ahead and set this as ready and let's go back to the sequence. Um, and then we can mark the sequence as ready. And now we can go back to our zap uh, and we can click, okay, I did this. Uh, it should receive information because we just posted to it. So hook A, um, Greg Jenkins, CB Trilogy, contact ID and email address. Perfect. Okay, so step number two is gonna be to create um, a slide using Google Slides. So over here in my Google Drive, you can see I have created a Google Slide Deck. Um, I made this using Pixlr, it's a free photo editor. Um, obviously mine has a bunch of you know design, but yours could be really, really simple. The key things you need to do is include um, the pl uh, placeholder for what you wanna merge in. So you can see I've got uh, open bracket, squiggly bracket, name, squiggly bracket, squiggly bracket to close it, and then uh, the same thing for the course. So name and course, uh, and here's, here's a trick for you. Uh, you're gonna make these up. You can call those whatever you want. Uh, it's, it's effectively merge fields. So uh, Google Slides will let you just add a, a text widget here, and then you type in squiggly bracket, squiggly bracket, whatever you want, squiggly bracket, squiggly bracket. Uh, the reason that's important is because over here in Zapier, when we connect to Google Slides, um, you're gonna create a presentation from template. Uh, if you don't have your Google Slides account connected, you're gonna have to authenticate it, but that just takes a quick second. Um, and then you're going to choose the template uh, you want to copy. Okay, so here you can see um, title of the new presentation is shared and then template presentation. So that is gonna be the MP certificate test. That's the title of this presentation here. So uh, the title of the new presentation is gonna be uh, MP certificate, but instead of test, I'm gonna actually merge in the person's name because eventually this will be stored to my Google Drive and I wanna make sure that uh, I know that this certificate was tied to that particular person. Um, you can set it to shared, yes or no. That's, I don't think that's really important at this point. Um, and then template presentation, uh, you choose MP cert test or whatever the name of your um, template was, uh, and then it finds the names of the placeholders. So if you recall, I had name and course right there and right there, and Zapier identified those and said, cool, what do you want us to put in place of those values? So for name, we want to put in the Greg Jenkins, which was originally sent over from this step in the post or uh, this step in the post. Um, and then for the uh, course name, uh, again, that'll either be a variable that you're merging in, or in my case, it was just a, a static value here. So uh, that happens to be CB Trilogy. Um, and then you can click continue uh, and it's saying, hey, cool, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, you can send a test and it should take just a, a quick second here and it should return back some information uh, once it has created uh, a unique version of that, of that slide using the information uh, from the original hook. So uh, down here you can see uh, here's some details. So at the very bottom you should see four different export links. Um, uh, one of them is a PDF URL. So this actual URL uh, you can see at the end, it exports in the format of a PDF. So this is a, a Google Slides template, which is like Google's version of PowerPoint. Um, but in creating it, it also gives you a PDF version, which is just like a, a certificate. So uh, what we're going to do is take that information and send it back to Infusionsoft. So let's go update the contact record. And this is why we needed the email address. Uh, we're gonna hook into my uh, MonkeyPod Infusionsoft account. We are going to use the email from the original catch hook to make sure it finds the same contact. Um, how to check for duplicates, email address right there. Okay, and then uh, we do want the opt-in to be set to yes. That contact should uh, you know, be marketable and we wanna just make sure that we retain that. Um, and then we do need a tag here. So. Uh, there should be a tag I just created called Certificate Ready. Uh, you can see over in Infusionsoft, we've got the Certificate Ready tag. It's uh, ID 2021. Um, and then that is the tag. Is that tag is applied. 
um, is going to achieve this goal. So uh, certificate ready. There we go. Um, so when Zapier does its job, it's going to be applying this tag and then launching them into this sequence. So the final thing we need to do is make sure that we are storing the certificate URL uh, into that custom field that we created. So somewhere down here is the certificate URL. And uh, this one is going to be from step number two. So we click on step number two. And then um, we can find somewhere down here the URL the export URL, which should be for the PDF, export links PDF. So there it is. We can click continue here. Um, and um, we can send test to Infusionsoft, which should find my sample contact record, should update it, and um, should pop that uh, URL into the appropriate field. So let's click finish. We'll give this bad boy a name, create course certificate set it to yes and now your zap is done um, if we check so we should be able to find admin at monkey pod um, if we check that contact record uh, I would expect that there is a, um, a, a URL in the custom field we created for that certificate uh, and there is so let's go ahead and test that um, and it looks like it successfully downloaded Congratulations, you really did it this time. Uh, Greg Jenkins has officially completed the CB Trilogy course. It's got my signature, bing, bang, boom. So um, now the trick is, how do we get that to the person who um, uh, who completed the course? Because if it's on their contact record, you know you can see it, but that doesn't necessarily allow them to access it. Uh, so we need to deliver it to them, and we're gonna do that in an email here. Um, so, uh, I've got this email pre-built. Congrats on completing the XYZ course. Uh, at this point, it would be the CB Trilogy course. Uh, you could download your certificate here. So uh, I'm going to merge in the URL for this certificate, certificate URL. Uh, and then I'm actually going to cut it so we can put it behind the text here. So in this URL field, we'll put the merge value, click insert. And uh, that's it. So congrats on completing the CB Trilogy course. You rock. You can download your certificate here. Uh, that email can be set to ready. Of course, we would want to do the same thing for the second one. Um, and then we just need to configure this goal so that it is tracking that download link. That way they don't get the second email if they download it the first time. So um, just as a recap, something has to trigger this. Um, whatever is the indication that you're ready for this certificate to be created. So in my case, it would be like, um, you know, plus this uh, video tracking triggers uh, show me that they watched the last part of the last video in that particular course. Or, um, you know, it could be a quiz that they took indicating that they're done or they got a certain percentage on it. But whatever it is, something triggers this campaign. Uh, then we send an HTTP post to Zapier, which triggers this initial um, step in the Zap. Um, once the zap has done its job, uh, it you know creates the presentation template, um, and it somehow I should be able to collapse this, um, and then it updates the contact record and tags the contact record. So once it tags the contact record, it achieves this goal, which pulls them out of here and adds them to here, um, and then we will fire off an email that includes the link to the custom field that has their certificate in it. Um, and you could have multiple follow-ups until they download it, but that is really it, guys. Um, like I said, I think there are probably dozens of use cases for where this might be valuable. Um, I love that it is you know, a, a relatively inexpensive or free uh, tool if you already have Zapier. So if you already have Zapier, uh, you can use your existing Zapier account. Google Slides is totally free. Uh, you can dress this up. You don't need to you know, make it super fancy, but you certainly can. Uh, you can make your template look however you want. Uh, you could also merge in the date that they completed the course. You could merge in, um, you know, any other variables that you feel like are important here. Uh, I just think there's an infinite potential for um, where this can serve you and, and your business. And, and hopefully this little, you know, training video um, makes it that much uh, more accessible for people who wouldn't have otherwise thought of this. Uh, again, shout out to Tim for reminding me and encouraging me to make this video. And uh, shout out to Kelsey Bratcher from Hired Gun Solutions who taught me this trick in the first place. If you guys have any questions or your own tricks that you have figured out with Zap, I'd love to hear them. Throw them in the comments below.